when I look back and I think about New York City, I always felt that this was the place that gave me uh, the freedom to dream. And, you know, meeting Kevin has given me that opportunity to just know that it's okay to hold on to a dream, even though I may be at an age where, you know, I should just be dealing with memories, but I'm, I'm not. Our special guest today is Mr. Andy Kim, who's a favorite of mine. Incredible partnership. Kevin Drew and Andy Kim have collaborated on a brand new album that it's decided. What was it about this city? It was just the radio stations close to Montreal that you could hear, or? I walked to a radio station, which was about maybe 40 minutes from, from where I was staying. In Montreal? At, in Montreal. Now, I, I walked in, I didn't know what to expect, and I said that I, you know, would like to know more about, you know, the records that they're playing and, and the songs and where they come from. And, you know, one guy turned around and he says, they all come from New York. And I thought to myself, New York. All right, now your friend and music partner now, Kevin Drew, have uh, really developed a, a strong musical relationship and he is in like a, what you call an alternative band. And here you are, a singer songwriter from the Brill Building and you guys kind of got together and wrote some stuff and, and recorded an album together. One, two, three. Well, it's just that your father said that you think of my career as more about courage than talent. I really just wanted to, so much to be a part of the music that I heard uh, on my transistor radio. And it's just okay, just okay tonight. You want me to go high there or want me to stay with you? And it's just okay, just okay, it's fine. Hearing this man sing was half the reason we did this, because just when he came and stepped up to the, to the microphone, oh, something's, something's about to happen. Oh! You gotta give me a Bono O. When in doubt, do a Bono O. Oh! Hi, this is Kevin Drew from Broken Social Scene. And Andy Kim, I'm the only one that's articulate here, checking out all the week's new tunes on New Music Tuesday. Not Taco Tuesday. Andy Kim has been a very, very <laughs> successful songwriter over his long career. How many copies of Sugar Sugar were sold? Uh, I think a little over 13 million. That wow. was a 45 Ooh. RPM record back when those used to be sold in stores. Sugar. Oh, honey, honey. I mean, we're looking at the Brill Building from across the street. And over here used to be the Jack Dempsey restaurant, where Jack Dempsey, the great fighter, used to just, with his huge hands, used to greet you. It was just, it was like from a movie. It really, really was from a movie. How old were you when you first walked in here? 16. And I knew that Lieber and Stoller and Jeff Barry and Ellie Greenwich were here. And it was Jeff Barry that I needed to reach, and luckily I was able to learn my way around the song and learn everything here. You have to understand it. Legendary people, once upon a time, made this what it is before I even showed up, man. Jerry Lieber came up to me one day and said, can I see you in my office? And I said, sure. I had no idea, and he said, you can't go singing and humming in the elevator. It's a law in this office that you can't do that. This is a building of songwriters and publishers and, and singers and would be something, and they'll steal any thought. It's in the air, so when you get in an elevator, don't think about music. Just get out of the elevator and walk onto the street. Then you can start humming if you want to. But now I, I just see it as a building filled with memories. Just happy to have caught the tail end of what the Brill Building stood for such a long time before I arrived, for sure. It's beautiful. So compare that to the way that you first came up into business, where you know you were sort of like locked in a cubicle, having to you know write to spec. Was it too much freedom, or were you like, I've been waiting for this all my life? Yeah, it's, 
Well, first of all, I came from a logical place. <laughs> Kevin's idea was totally illogical. You know, you're having dinner and now it's one o'clock in the morning and you've had too much wine and he says, okay, let's go to the studio. And I said, what? We're in the studio. Well, what are we gonna do? We'll find out when we get there. And it's just okay, just okay now. Yeah, it's just okay, just okay, it's fine. When was the last time you were on American television? Probably 35 years ago. Are you nervous about going back on TV? Because you haven't really done it in America in a while. How do you spell scared? <laughs> I'm just going to enjoy the moment. You know, there, there's always, no matter where, whether you're going to get up to say whatever, there's always that first moment. And That's for it. Me, for me, that moment happens and then it's gone. And, and then you bed. go. Yeah. It's always the first line. Yeah. Don't worry about it. You come in, yeah. you're sort of there, get through that first line, and then you just go. That's it. Every time I do this show, every time I do television, it's the first line. Because you're scared. Because it, it tells you, the first line tells you, I'm, I'm here. I'm, I'm in here. the zone, and, and, and we're great. And it can be timid, it can be whatever it wants, yeah. but as soon as you get rid of that first yeah, line, I agree. Just go for it. I'm gonna go to the second one. <laughs> you know, we made this record. It was the most unusual way of making a record for me. And it turned out to be the best way to make a record for me. Because you, you brought your community, you brought people that I had never met in my life. And I felt like I had known them all my life. I was always hoping to, to write a good enough song to make a good record. And after I made the good record, I was hoping that people would like it. Because if they liked it, it gave me an opportunity to do it again. It's not anyone's responsibility to babysit my dream. It's up to me to do this. And it's up to anyone who really has a dream to fight for it. And I think once you've made that determination, you know, wonderful spirits come to your life to help you. I tried to find my wisdom. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, it worked. Oh, great. On a fast moving train. But I only found the hollow. Now let's go up. And one more. Oh, no, we're out of tune. Oh, we're out of tune. Ah. In a midnight hurricane. I was thinking about shaving. I gotta trim this. I haven't shaved yet. Have you shaved? I did last night. I was gonna go close. I thought we were gonna go shave together. Electric wires that burns my face. Really? In the eyes of a painter. A poet and a seamstress. But I would love for Andy to say one terrible thing about Kevin before this week is done. <laughs> so would I. In a land loving sailor. Sail on, sail on, sail on. <laughs> I hope that doesn't show up. Sail on, sail on.